So first fracture that we have to talk about here is this fracture. Now whenever I've already told you a couple of times that whenever you see a fracture, your first job is to identify which joint is this. So definitely this is elbow, this is lateral view, I can see humerus, I can see radius, I can see ulna, I can see a fracture here. So do you have a fracture? Yes. Do you have a fracture of the ulna? Yes. Do you have a fracture of the proximal one third of the shaft of ulna? Yes. So what I'm trying to tell you here, what I'm trying to tell you here is that you do have a fracture of shaft of ulna in the proximal one third, and not only that, you have one more thing here, and that one more thing is basically the radial head dislocation. So that one more thing that we are going to see here is a radial head dislocation. Now I'm sure it is pretty obvious and it is pretty pretty clear to all of you that we are dealing with what kind of a fracture, multi-layer fracture. You start talking to an X-ray in revision. In revision you are a little stressed out so you're not supposed to revise that okay fine i am not going to focus on the x-ray i'm just going to revise the theory and you start mugging what teacher is fractured or approximately and don't do that even when you're revising revise an image an image is going to image image is almost thousand words i'm sure you've heard of it so an image is going to have a long lasting memory so you can see a monteja fracture here very clearly and then radial neck is surrounded a radial neck is surrounded by a nerve called as posterior and nerve which is a motor branch of radial nerves that's the most common associated nerve injury now